By now you've heard there's a total lunar eclipse coming, but the big question is, should you watch it? Now here's everything you need to know to make that decision. Number one, you should know that eclipses are really slow. I'm not going to call it boring, but watching tortoises race is more exciting. Number two, you should know that they always happen at god-awful times where any decent human being should be in bed, sleeping, dreaming of flying. Number three, you should know that the moon will get red when it enters into the Earth's shadow. The blood moon which I think is a mediocre name. I'd call it a rose moon or a strawberry moon. You should also know that if you miss this lunar eclipse, another one will be visible from where you currently are sometime in the next two and a half years, which is a lot different than total solar eclipses. If you wanna see one from where you are, you're gonna to have to wait 360 years or so. Don't miss those. And you should know it is okay to miss a total lunar eclipse, but you should also know that the moon is around 238,000 miles from Earth, traveling at a speed of 2,300 miles per hour on a month-long orbit around us. And that orbit is not flat, but it's tilted five degrees off the plane of the solar system, which means the moon rarely goes into the Earth's shadow. Usually it goes above or below it, except for one or two times per year on average. And when it does, you can actually see the shadow of the Earth as the moon goes into it. In fact, ancient Greeks have known that the Earth was a sphere for over 6,000 years from observing lunar eclipses. You can't fake a lunar eclipse, flat earthers, I don't think. And when the moon goes into our shadow, it eventually turns blood red. And let's be honest, that's a much better name than a strawberry or a rose moon. Those are terrible ideas. And this happens because the sunlight bends or refracts around the Earth through the atmosphere, scattering all the colors of the rainbow except those with the longest wavelength red. And this is visible only during a full moon, and only from the night side of Earth. And this time around, only people in the Americas are going to be able to see the full, uninterrupted lunar eclipse. Sorry, rest of the world, if you want a total lunar eclipse from start to finish, you're going to have to wait, but not long. So should you watch the total lunar eclipse, like thousands and thousands of generations of humans have done? Well, they say there are no stupid questions, but that's one. So go get some coffee and some warm clothes. It's gonna be a long but beautiful night.